Anyone familiar with the Harry Potter books or films will quickly call to mind the scenes where Harry and Ron are battling it out for the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Following the franchise's success, the sport of human, or should I say muggle Quidditch, was created. There is one key difference that will no doubt disappoint some of you though. There's no flying on broomsticks here. One team from the Solent area with their finger on the snitch is the University of Southampton. Their keeper and vice-captain Oliver Craig gave me a brief rundown on the rules and about the national and continental success that the squad have recently enjoyed. There are seven players on each side and it is based on the Harry Potter books so there is one keeper and three chasers um, who use the quaffle which in our case is a volleyball to score hoops. Each hoop's worth 10 points. There are two beaters on each team and they use the bludgers which basically work as obstacles so if you're hit by a bludger then you have to dismount from your broom, um, run back to your own hoops, tap back in and then carry on again and there's also one seeker um, whose goal is to catch the golden snitch. It's a full contact sport, full contact mixed gender is how it's described so I mean it's one armed tackles uh, because one hand is uh, holding onto your broom. That does mean that there is potential for injury, um, especially on hard ground like we have today. It's the same as rugby tackles, so, um, so it is full contact. In March we went to Nottingham and we came away as the British Quidditch champions, which was an absolutely amazing achievement, um, having finished fourth at the previous cup um, about 18 months before. And um, just at the weekend we finished joint third at the European Quidditch Championships. So what has inspired such a swift journey? on their path to glory. The most amazing thing about this club is the fact that we've come from gone from absolutely nothing to, to something big in such a short space of time. We had the biggest recruitment drive of the entire country in uh, September, or well, October actually, when university started and we had 100 people come to our first ever session. In the meantime, we've actually managed to create a second team. So we're now one of only two clubs in the country that had two teams. So I mean, from a personal perspective, I'm very proud to have such a big, um, important team uh, in UK Quidditch. So if you're considering getting active, looking for a new hobby and see yourself as a bit of a budding beater, why not give Quidditch a try? You don't need to be magic to play this game. Ben Trepas for Solent News Now.